Hello Internet, today we are going to customize the themes of your Nintendo Switch by using Themeser. In this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, uh, teaching you how to install Themeser on your Switch and two ways in how to customize your themes. First, uh, using a website uh, and downloading the uh, themes from it, the easiest part and how to do it. And second, we're going to use this uh, program, the uh, Switch Theme Injector where we can uh, install themes, customize the icons, and also the layout, overall layout of your Switch. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is that we are going to um, install Themeser uh, NX into your Nintendo Switch. You can only do this to a modded or jailbroken Nintendo Switch. If you don't know how to do it, the link is in the description part and also the files that you will need. Alright, I already connected my Switch to my PC and then you're gonna see the uh, Switch drive. Open up the Switch drive. Okay, once you open up the Switch drive, I want you to go to the folder Switch. This is actually where you're gonna put the NRO or the installation file. Drag or copy it, paste it into this folder. And then let's go back to your switch. Okay, under albums, you're gonna see now the uh, NX Themes uh, application, simply open the thing up. This is actually where we are going to install custom themes to your Switch. Okay, the first method where you can install themes is going to this website, uh, themeser.net. It's very easy, you just go to uh, you know recent additions and you're gonna see here some custom made themes already that you can download. You can also download the entire pack in a zip folder. Uh, let's give it a try. I'm going to download, let's say, okay, this looks cool, uh, Cyberpunk. Let's try this. Just have to press the uh, download button for this. Okay, wait for it to download. Okay, I've already downloaded the uh, zip file or the package. Okay, Pixel, I'm gonna open this thing up. And when you open it, you're going to see this in your WinZip. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, take a look on the following files. It is an NX theme file. And when you hover over it, you're going to see that this specific file handles the uh, home menu. The second one handles the uh, lock screen. So later on, it's up to you which one that you want to uh, uh, use or you want to uh, install as a theme uh, for your Switch. Okay, going back to Switch, open up the Switch drive, go to your SD card, and look for the uh, Themes folder. I'm gonna make a folder here. As you can see, I have some folders for Zelda and Skies is some of the uh, themes I've pre-installed already. I'm gonna name this folder, let's say, Punk. Okay, I'm opening up my uh, zip file again. I'm gonna copy all of the contents in my computer, somewhere in my computer, because I don't know why I cannot copy it directly into the Switch Themes folder. Okay, pasting it there, and after that, copying it again, and this time, pasting it or copying it to the Themes folder of my Switch. Okay, going back to Switch, we're going to open up NX Theme. And under Themes, you can see now the uh, folders that we made. I have Skies and Zelda as well, my uh, other uh, themes. Open up Punk, and you can now install the following themes. I'm pressing on X to see the preview. Pressing on A to install. Pressing on X for preview. I think I'm just gonna press A and I'm gonna install everything up.
Okay, after installing everything, you need to reboot the device. I'm gonna go for reboot option. Alright guys, as you can see, we already changed the overall look of your switch. The uh, uh, background image is different and also the arrangement of the icons in the home page is different as well. So this is how you install uh, custom uh, themes by downloading it into a website and into your switch. Next up, we are going to make your own custom themes. Uh, I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop as my photo editor. Uh, any photo editor will do. Uh, I'm going to place all my files here in the uh, themes folder or my themes folder. Uh, for making the uh, theme, I'm going to be using the switch uh, theme injector. Um, I only have examples here for the home page. I'm gonna make a uh, background image also for the lock screen and also the settings page. And we're, we are also going to customize uh, the overall layout of the icons in the home page. Okay, next up, I just opened the Photoshop and I'm gonna be setting up the uh, background uh, for my lock screen, home menu, and uh, my settings page. Um, the only thing is, uh, this canvas should have a size of 1280 by 720 if you don't have that size you saved it uh, the injector later on will not be allowing it to be installed into your switch so I have some pictures here already I already set up some pictures there you have it so this is what my home screen will look like uh, next up I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna put it to the folder I'm working on that will be my theme and this should be in JPG or JPEG format I think I'm gonna name this one as the home since this will be my homes page I've already uh, actually uh, saved uh, some other files here uh, this will be for my lock screen so I've already saved this JPG or JPEG format and this will be on my settings page well if you are planning to change also the icon uh, for your home page uh, you're gonna be setting up an icon uh, that will be in PNG format so I'm not gonna be setting up an icon on this tutorial uh, I'm just gonna be using the uh, home page lock screen and the settings for this and let's go now to the injector okay guys going back um, I'm gonna open up the switch uh, theme injectors program it's gonna look like this once you open this uh, let's talk about the NX uh, theme builder uh, in this one, you're gonna see the home menu part. So this is the part of your Nintendo Switch where you can customize the home menu. Let me just zoom that thing up. Okay, so that's the home menu. So for the home menu, um, you're gonna see here some options. For example, you have here image. This is the part where you can now uh, put your image that you're working on for your home menu. Let me try to put something here. I'm gonna go to the uh, folder that I'm working on, which is my theme. This will be my home page right here. Open it so you've already set your home page. Next one, uh, for this one, I'm not gonna be uh, talking about this. I'm not gonna be using any patch for the meantime. Next is the custom common layouts. So how does this thing work? Um, I would like to refer you to the folder, uh, NX uh, theme, the one that we're working on. Let me just go back on this and look for the layouts folder. On the layouts folder, you're gonna see here the a bunch full of layouts that you can use uh, for your switch. For example, the careful layout. Um, if you're gonna use this, you have the uh, preview, your icons. Uh, it's gonna be looking, or the arrangement of your icons will be looking like this. Uh, let's say I'm gonna open up diamond layout. Diamond layout should be looking like this. Already a look on this, and I'm gonna be using, I think, this one. I'm gonna use this uh, layout, the flange rounded layout. Layout. Let me just look for it. This is flange rounded. I'm gonna copy it, copying it, and then I'm gonna put it to the folder that I'm working on, which is my theme. I'm gonna paste it here. So that will be flange rounded. Oh, I'm sorry. I've actually copied the wrong file. It should be the JSON file. So if you are into JavaScript programming, this one you can actually make uh, some uh, you can 
tweak this okay the positioning if you know javascript so i'm not gonna be talking about that i'm gonna be copying this one and placing it to my my themes folder there you have it so i have the layout going back to your injector i'm gonna choose that there we go launch around it gonna open it now in the custom applet icons uh, this is the part where you can upload uh, your uh, applets or the customized icons just what I said I'm not gonna be working on this one I'm gonna leave it as is next you're gonna press on the uh, build NX theme right here okay I'm, gonna, I'm pressing it right now and after that it's gonna be asking you for the theme name I'm gonna make this one as test it's a test theme uh, author that will be me just any name I'm gonna press on OK and once you do that it's gonna be asking you where you're gonna save it uh, for this one I'm gonna be putting it on my theme because that's what I'm working on I'm gonna put in there a name that will be test okay and pressing on OK so there you have it guys you already made your uh, NX theme uh, file let me just uh, take a look on it okay there you go that will be your all right we already uh, set the uh, home uh, menu I'm gonna be setting now the uh, lock screen for lock screen I'm gonna use uh, for my lock screen this one okay for lock screen and I'm gonna build an NX theme for this okay same stuff gonna be test gonna be me again okay the name for this one will be lock since this will be my lock screen okay it's done next stop we're done with the lock screen next will be under the uh, settings settings I'm gonna have this one for my settings same thing I'm gonna build an NX theme for it I'm gonna do it okay let me just change the theme name to settings okay and that will be me again for the author okay again that will be for my settings page done so okay we're done with this I, I just uh, saved three I have my settings my lock and then I also got my home don't have my home here okay and just set that thing up again okay so let me just save again my home screen hold on okay gonna put there here home that'll be my home screen oops I'm sorry now it's a mistake should be home only there you have it now we're done everything's all set next thing we're gonna do is that we are going to install this but I'm not gonna be connecting my switch I'm gonna be using a Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi method for this one okay the next thing we're gonna do is that we are going to install the themes um, press on remote install it's gonna be asking you for the IP address of your switch okay guys for this to work you need to be connected to the same modem or to the same router as your switch and the IP address should be correct going back to my switch on NX theme um, go to download themes under down download themes you press on start remote install pressing on A and you're gonna see there the IP address once you get the IP address go ahead and place it to your switch's IP address uh, prompt Okay, I got here 192.168.2. I think that's, let me just go back. It's 183. Okay, I'm gonna call gate 183. Pressing on connect, it's gonna be asking you for the, it's gonna be asking you for the themes that you're gonna install. I'm gonna set up home theme first. I'm gonna press on open. And then I'm gonna press on connect let me go back to my switch as you can see guys the theme is already there home and I'm gonna press on ok to install it 
Oh, okay, home has been successfully be successfully been installed. Same thing. I'm gonna download the theme. I'm gonna start the uh, remote access. I'm gonna do the same procedure again. This time, I'm gonna be using rock theme. Going back to my switch, as you can see, uh, the lock theme is already there for you to select. Or the lock screen, I'm gonna press on A, installing it. I'm gonna start again the remote install. Same procedure, this time I'm gonna install my settings theme, opening it, going back to my switch, pressing on A installing it okay so those are the three themes that we already ex installed uh, next thing I'm gonna do same stuff you need to reboot to see the changes okay guys I already restarted my switch as you can see my uh, my lock screen already changed already okay let me just go to the home page home page screen ready and also my uh, the icons are done a little bit bigger for the games. Going to settings, and it already changed. Okay, guys, that is how you can install your custom themes uh, and also download the themes using uh, the theme installer and so injector. Alright, guys, sometimes there's an error wherein uh, when you install the themes, it doesn't change the background picture. So if that happens. Um, you just simply install, let's say, install the first theme, you exit the app, and then you open the app again, reinstall, oh, not reinstall, but you uh, install the next theme, and so on, and that fixes the problem. Now, let's talk about extracting themes. Just a quick view on this one. For example, you have there a uh, downloaded theme, and you would like to get the, uh, the uh, background picture of it, and you would like to get the uh, layout of that theme and then you uh, customize that theme uh, to your liking. Um, you can do that by extracting it. For example, I'm opening up a theme that I've downloaded. For example, let's say uh, Pokemon. This is the home menu page. Open that thing up and just select the folder where you're gonna put in the extracted theme. Let's say I'm gonna go to my themes. I'm gonna press on OK. Done, I'm gonna open up that folder. Hold on, let's put it the uh, desktop here and let's go to my themes. Where is it? There you go. As you can see, guys, it actually extracted the uh, there we go, the image for that theme and also the layout itself. So there's the layout, and that is the image on that theme. So you can use that theme, uh, you can use that image, you can. Uh, make your own theme out of it and select a layout that you like so that is how extract theme works oh guys that's the end of the video thank you so much for bearing with me and watching if you have any questions suggestions that drop it in the comment section thank you so much for your time have a good one